Hey, what's up? Sammy here. Today, let's take a quick look at the newly released Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 series phones. In this video, I will cover unboxing, design comparisons, and to do testing, audio testing, and photo testing. We shot numerous samples, by the way. And my conclusion for these phones is if you want a mid ranger that's not going to bring you bank, these are the ones. Just go and buy it. Don't even need to think about it too much. They are too good for the value. Just like my sponsor gave by Instab 11 shopping spree. There are crazy deals, massive coupons there. Just go and get something if you need it. The link is in the description. And please don't forget to subscribe as I spent so much time and earned shooting this real unboxing hands on videos. I barely took a rest. I also shot the hands-on video of the Redmi Watch 2 and Redmi Buds 3. They will be on the channel a few hours later, so please subscribe, it's free, you won't lose anything anyway. Starting with the unboxing, we have the Redmi Note 11 and 11 Pro. Wait, the 11 Pro Plus? Well, the desk is too small, I kind of put 3 to 1 tam, so I just threw away the Pro Plus version. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you guys. The real reason is the Mi Shop doesn't have the Pro Plus version. Anyway, the two Pro devices have identical designs aside from the fast charging and the battery capacity. We'll talk about it more later. Let's unbox the Note 11 5G first. In the first layer, we have an insert that includes a pin, a user manual, and a soft silicon case. At this time, the Note 11 series comes with 3.5mm headphone port, so it doesn't have that 3.5mm to Type-C adapter. And then, the phone. Man, just check out the phone. It looks so gorgeous, so smooth, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! The phone is within Simi's hands, she's doing some tests. Anyway, under that is the Type-C cable and the 33 watt fast charger. As for the unboxing of the Note 11 Pro, the contents are basically the same, but it comes with a 67 watt fast charging adapter. Now, moving to the specs and designs. I want to start off by showing you the design differences between the Note 11 and the 11 Pro. Start from the top, we see both phones have the infrared blaster and noise cancelling mic and a speaker. The differences are the Pro version has the 3.5mm headphone jack and the speaker was tuned by JBL. Two phones have the same volume rocker and the power key design. The power key is also the fingerprint scanner, by the way. Moving to the bottom, we see the speaker, mic and Type-C port on both phones but the Pro had the same car slot there, and the 11 had the headphone jack. But for the left side, the Note 11 has moved the same car slot there, where the Pro has nothing. If you are wondering what kind of SIM tray is on both phones, here they are. Both are the dual SIM cards, dual standby, and support SD card expansion. That GSM Arena really made up specs. <laughs> So yeah, subscribe to Samuel Lowe's channel if you don't want to be misled. As for the display, the Redmi Note 11 sports a 6.6-inch LCD with 4 HD Plus resolution and a 60-megapixel selfie shooter, where the 11 Pro has a slightly bigger 6.67-inch AMOLED panel and with the same 60-megapixel selfie shooter. But if you look closer, the size of the selfie camera on the 11 Pro is particularly smaller and may use just 2.96mm in diameter according to Redmi Official. As for the bezels on the two phones, I compared back and forth and found there was really no obvious difference. Maybe the Pro version is slightly narrower, but not obvious. The biggest difference, I guess, is the camera module. The 11 Pro comes with a triple rear camera setup, though it looks like four cameras, but three which includes a 108 megapixel primary sensor, an 8 megapixel arch wide camera with a 120 degree field of view, and a 2 megapixel telemacro lens. But the Note 11 version sports a dual rear camera setup, though it looks like three cameras, but two, which includes a 50 megapixel main camera and an 8 megapixel secondary sensor. Overall, the Note 11 looks more rounded and 11 Pro or Pro Plus are squarer. I also took a shot of all the colors for the Note 11 series. They have timeless purple, milky way blue, that color is super fancy, forest green, and mysterious black. Which one do you like most? Let me know in the comment section. Regarding other specs, for the Note 11, it only has 33 watt fast charging for the 5000 mAh battery, which should charge from 0 to 100% in 62 minutes. Also, the chipset is dimensioned 810. If you are wondering the end of the benchmark, here is it. Not bad for the phone in this price range. Well, for the Note 11 Pro and the Note 11 Pro Plus, they look identical but with one key difference. The Plus variant brings 120 watt fast charging with a 4500 mAh battery, which enables you to charge fully in about 15 minutes. 
but the regular Pro has the bigger 5160mm battery with 67 watt fast charging. The chipset for the Pro siblings is the Dimensity 920. We also ran the Ant2 and this was what we got. Not too good or bad, normal uh, for the middle range like this. Oh, by the way, the rough shred on the Note 11 is 90Hz, while the Pro series is 120Hz, if that's something you are interested to know. What you may also interest to know is the audio testing. How does that JBL dual stereo speaker perform? Is it a huge difference between Note 11, which doesn't have JBL's optimization? Well, I listened to the two and I found there was not so huge a difference. Or maybe the Xiaomi shop is too noisy and I cannot tell the difference. I'll just put the audio test here and you decide which one is better. <laughs> As for camera testing, for sure the Pro has a better performance for its accurate color registration and exposure. And I found on the 11 5G doesn't support 4K video recording or stabilization for 1080p 60fps. For the Pro version, it supports 4K but no stabilization. In a way, I will just put all of the samples at the end of this video, you can check them out. As for my final words on this Redmi Note 11 5G series, I think Xiaomi really nailed it. These phones are truly cost-friendly and have the best value among all phones that were released in 2021 or even maybe 2022. If you got a bit more budget, go to the Pro ones. They have a better camera, better sound, and superb battery life and fast charging. What do you think? Will you get one of these for the coming festival seasons? Let me know in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe. Also don't forget to check out my sponsor Gigabyte's shopping spree. All links are in the description. I'm Sammy and I will see you in the next one.